Hi friends, it's Victor Costa. Peace, love, and muscles. Hope you're doing well. I'm showing off my tricep development, not necessarily the bicep, but the tricep, because this is the area of my body that I have been focusing on and working on uh, and directing my energy into that area. And I wanted to remind you that that's what you can do. Instead of just letting the time tick by on the clock, instead of just watching the, um, uh, the, the repetitions and the sets and the monotony of the whole thing, you can direct the energy into what you want to accomplish. And I think well, what a lot of people do is that they, they just kind of go in there and do the work, but they don't have an art, a, a theme or a direction or a sublimation of how they want that energy to affect them ultimately. My overarching theme these days is to bring up lagging body parts and to put my body in balance. That's it. And so that's the theme that I go into the gym with and then I allow that to kind of govern my actions and motions and, and what I want to accomplish in there. And so when you go into the gym with the idea of I'm just going to do back and biceps, I'm going to do three sets of this, four sets of this, that's um, energy that, that uh, is, could potentially get misdirected. It could be scattered a bit. Um, it, it actually, instead of it goes into the body, it kind of comes off the body, right? When you, we see people exerting themselves and, uh, you know, uh, veins bulging out of their neck, um, there's a lot of energy being expended. But a lot of times you can see that it's not honed or directed into a specific accomplishment. It's kind of all over the place. What I wanted to remind you about is that you can direct the energy of what you want into back back into the body rather than letting it sort of shoot out all over the place by having an objective or a theme of what you're trying to accomplish. And um, when you do that, you can see that there's a, a big difference in the way that you approach the training. It's more scientific rather than just uh, effort. It's, um, it's more um, goal-oriented rather than just work. And so there's a big difference between putting in the time and just doing the sets and reps, and then having that uh, context, but, but also creating an objective for what you really want to do. And I think that that's what people are missing a lot of times, and that's why they spend a lot of time just kind of throwing energy out, looking at their devices to see how many steps, how many reps, how many all this and that, when it, that isn't really what matters. It's not, uh, as Esther Hicks would say, it's not action, it's inspired action. It's action to get to a certain uh, place. And so what I've been doing is, is really creating an overarching theme of what I want to accomplish and then use that theme as the, as the thrust uh, of, of what I'm doing in the gym. And so um, I just think that that could really be uh, very productive for you. And so I wanted to share that with you and that you can direct the energy rather more into the body than have it scattered about. You can direct that energy into lagging body parts. That could be your objective. Or you can say, well, I, I uh, really would like to bring up X, Y, Z. Let me focus on that particular area. Again, not with so much the repetitions and the sets, but more of a connection uh, to the body and a, uh, an objective, right? So, so everything is kind of geared around what you want to accomplish rather than just checking off boxes of sets and reps and things like that. So I uh, also wanted to remind you that this is an individual um, sport, if you will, a hobby. People ask me, Vic, what's better, three sets of 10 or four sets of eight? It doesn't matter. What, what matters is what works for you. So this is about as, uh, very much about stimulation as much as it is about healing. You know, each person um, heals and recovers in a different way. So when you start looking at the body as, as figuring out what does it take for my body to be stimulated and then recover from that, or um, forget about recovery, but, but uh, how about rebound, okay? I mean, when you think of it, when we're training, we're creating this body part specific trauma or this stimulation or this uh, degradation of the body in some way, shape or form. And what we're hoping is that we recover from that. Now, people use the word recovery so often. It's really not what they want. They want to rebound, right? Recovery would be to just come back to where you started from. It's like having um, the flu and just getting back to work. You haven't become any healthier. You just recovered from your ailment. So what this is about is what can I do to create a stimulus or some kind of a, a, a trauma, right, that I'm in control of and figure out how to rebound from it. How do I get back here? And that's going to take a whole lot of 
of, of finesse to get that back up. It's not the work because what happens is if you keep trying to work yourself into uh, work yourself into bodybuilding, work um, the muscles to grow, this is what happens sometimes. You wind up going down, it's like driving down a one-way street the wrong way and trying to figure out, um, instead of turning around, you go faster, right? Down the one-way street the wrong way. You wanna figure out how do I stimulate the body, create this body part specific trauma, and then somehow rebound from it. And that's an individual thing. And the components of that healing, recovery, rebound, whatever, uh, are things like sleep, rest, nutrition, uh, the distance between the amount of uh, time, uh, the distance in time between the body parts that you've worked, the amount of work that you put on each body part, and your specific body of how you heal and recover. So I want you to think of bodybuilding in terms of healing, not so much pounding, right? How do I figure out how to stimulate my body? Did I just spit? Sorry. How do I stimulate my body and then rebound from that? And that's why it's such an individual thing and you have to take really good notes for yourself. But there's one thing that you cannot go wrong with is uh, nutrition, good nutrition. And I don't mean just the macro components of nutrition, carbs, fats, and proteins. That's the that's the glossing, that, that, that's the overarching um, aspect of, of, uh, of nutrition, right? That's the rudiments of nutrition, carbs, fats, and protein. The macros, by now, everybody should fig have figured out that carbs, fats, and protein, we need those components. It's what are those components comprised of and what are the micronutrient aspects of that, the integrity of the food, the quality of the food that you're eating, the variety of the food that you're eating. So that's the second level. So start also paying attention to those things that nourish the body rather than just the macro components because that's the, uh, that stuff shows up sort of in the silhouette of the body rather than the texture, the, uh, the uh, look in your eyes, the brightness in your eyes, the quality of your life the your hair your skin your nails all that other stuff nutrition is subtle much more and it shows up also in the recovery of your body so keep your keep your diet varied uh, with micronutrients um, pay less attention to the carbs proteins fat stuff and more to the components of what those foods of what those macros are comprised of try to eat good quality foods um, and um, focus on that so all those are all those things that I'm talking about are aspects of this process that we're trying to accomplish, which is create this stimulus, body part specific trauma, um, and then apply the, um, the time, the healing, the nutrition, the rest and everything so that we can somehow rebound from that, okay? So that's, that's sort of my definition of bodybuilding and for each person it's different. So you wanna pay specific attention to what you're doing, right? Um, don't change all the variables at one time, right? You wanna you know, just add some things very, very slowly uh, so that you can test whether or not they're working. Don't go to the store, buy 18 supplements and try to figure out which one was working. You're better off having no supplements and adding one at a time, and then we're adding one and then taking one out, very similar to how you would figure out an allergy for, for food. So I've said enough today, eight minutes. I hope you guys are well, peace, love, and muscles. Put that energy into the body parts that you want, bring the energy back into the body rather than shooting it out all over the place. Understand that this is an individual thing. Uh, figure out your, uh, your own healing mode, right? How much time between the sets, how many, um, uh, days between the body parts, how much rest you need, the proper nutrition, all of this is a work in progress and we continue to work on this and that's what makes this hobby fun, that it's never really finished. So, wish you guys all the best. Peace, love, and muscles. Take care of yourselves. Bye.